Hello everyone. Let us talk some facts today. You all know that we swallow 1 to 1 point of liters of saliva per day and 18 to 400 times of spontaneous per saliva per an hour. We eat, we chew, we swallow spontaneously per 500 to 700 times per day. And while sleeping, we swallow three times consciously or subconsciously when we are awake more than. Can we imagine our life without swallowing? No. But there are some people who cannot swallow or enjoy their favorite meal. That is, they have difficulty in swallowing. On this day, I would like to spread the word called swallowing. Uh, that is, the ability to swallow the food. Whereas the people who have difficulty in swallowing the food is called dysphagia. Inability to swallow food, liquid or medicine is called dysphagia. Basically, how to identify this? If you have any sort of difficulty in passing the food from oral cavity through throat and stomach is called as dysphagia and how to identify this? Whenever you are eating, you cough, you choke or having respiratory distress or vomiting reflex, you cannot pass the bolus from oral cavity to the throat or throat to the stomach or frequently required water to clear your throat or push the bolus down or you are unable to take the medicine or having difficulty in swallowing the food, solid food. So these are some sort of red flags where you have to identify the dysphagia symptoms. If you identify this, immediately do consult the dysphagia specialist or a speech language pathologist at your nearby clinic so that they can help you to overcome the dysphagia. If you ignore this, it can lead to aspiration, pneumonia and sometimes death. So early identification, consulting the right person at the right time will make you to overcome dysphagia and protect you from aspiration and you can have a better quality of life. So on this day, I really would like to spread the word swallowing and I wish everyone spread the word swallowing and create the awareness among all of you. Let's have a better quality of life. Thank you everyone.